juicy ass. Plumped and unfiltered. I'm talking about the beer, not your average thought on Instagram. There are plain picks to pass around like a hot potato, just like these IPAs. Just that these IPAs cost money versus your booty pick that you could just scroll by. You can call me one of those guys. I love booty and beer. If you ask me which one I would choose from, both. I don't like to pick sides unless I have to. I've been fascinated by booty picks since I was a young man. And a really good pose can get me out of my bed quicker than a fire exit. Sometimes I wonder, how many shots does a girl have to take to get the perfect picture? Probably the same amount of shots I have to take to get a million views on YouTube. That's a situation I never want to be in again. I would rather just spend my day exploring the realms of the flying monkey. I could drink these beers without hesitation and drown myself in a pool of it. By the end of the night, I'll be moving around like the dancing beer that you see at your occasional bachelorette porn help parties. I remember my first time drinking this. It made my face squint like I had a mouthful of warheads. It was around the time that I started exploring the world of IPAs and was interested in something new. Whoever thought I would dive into a pool of bitterness? I wasn't expecting it like an unexpected pregnancy, which I never had one. I mean, I'm a male, right? Uh, never mind. The artwork and titling makes you feel some type of way, like you're about to drink some high grade fruit juice. At first, it didn't feel like that. Later in life, it did. It's like working a new job. You gotta break the ice a bit to feel comfortable with your surroundings. Everything takes time as the minute hand passes by each hour of the day. After so many sessions, I start to see why they call this the juicy ass. If I could explain in technical terms, I would. I'm not Einstein, but I can give it a try like a free food sample at Costco. It shouldn't hurt to explain how you feel about certain things. It only hurts when someone disagrees on how you feel, like it's so important, which is not. First off, starting with the poor, very easy going, smooth like a fresh paved road. Denucleation doesn't overflow with aggression. It sells in slowly with a finger of head that peaks to the top of the rim. Vibrant, bright, golden tone. Beautifully misty, appealing to the eye. Smells very fruity, sour, citrus. Like, I get a bit of malt from the aroma. The liquid swishes smoothly around like having lingerie in your mouth. It's gentle. Taste-wise, juicy. It's filled with it. Like a booty full of flavors. That's if you ever had one. I never did. Slightly fruity, sour, sweet, and grassy. Aftertaste latches with a tangy citrus vibe. I had it sat once for 30 minutes, you know, your slow slipper type of deal. At least a ton of lacing and the brew still held up. At $3.35 Canadian, it's a solid IPA. I would definitely give this a 4.3 out of 5 stars. It's better than your average IPA. Well crafted, but could be better. It's got potential. The one thing you have to worry about is the alcohol by volume, 6.5%. Two tallies can get you rock like a hype man high on cocaine. No wonder why he was rooting for me so loudly. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful winter and thank you Argyle for the amazing customized hat. I really love it. It complements the film and motivates me to produce more. Look forward to the incoming content guys. You guys take care. Much love. Peace.